How's everybody doing today, man? Um, I'd like to do a new video. Basically, this is a new pickup for me. Um, as you can see, it's not Jordan this time. Jordan's is not the only thing that I buy. I buy a lot of other classic stuff. Me, I like back in the day releases. For people who are not familiar with what these are, these are the Sockneys. Sockney, a little bit of history on Sockney. Sockney came out. Like, Sockney been founded, like, in the 19, I mean, not in the 19, the 18, in, the late 1800s was when Sockney was founded, like, 1896 or something like that, I believe. And this particular model, um, Sockney been around for years and years and years. They, they're famous for their running shoes and all that, track and all that. Basically, marathon runs. Um, do your own research on the history of it, but... Basically, this particular shoe I have is a classic. And this shoe came out in the mid, close to mid 1990s. And for the price I got these for, hey, to me, I consider it still. If you're not even playing close to retail for these, I decided. Hey, I still got some more pickups on the way. Um, I'm tr I'm trying to wrap up this year with basically all the pickups I cop for 2015, and I've been going through it here, like paying bills and all this type of stuff. And yeah, just trying to keep a positive mind. I know this has nothing to do with the shoes, but hey, I just like to speak my mind every once in a while. Just, I know it can get boring just looking at shoes and, hey, this this review on the shoes, blah, blah, blah. I like to make it in a little bit entertaining, you know, so people won't be all bored on here. All right, so got the box here, the Sockney box. And let's take a look at this. These are the Grid 9000s. The Grid 9000s came out in 1994. For people who don't know, um, do your research. And these retail for 80 bucks, but I got them below $80. I actually got these for about $60 instead of 80 And for this colorway, this is a new colorway. And me, this colorway means a lot to me. I really, ever since I saw pictures of this shoe, I've been wanting it. And I finally copped it as of, like, at the two months of it coming out. So... Uh, Boom. The Sockney Ocean Blue colorway. This colorway to me looks crazy. I like how they did the specs here. The quality of this shoe versus Jordan's. Those Jordan's went out, out the water because paying only $60 for this. And then the quality of shoes now costs about $220. I get like three or four pairs of these for the same price. And this shoe came out in the 90s. This is a classic shoe. Um, if you want to do your research on that, just search up Sockney. Or you can just go to the actual website, Sockney.com, if you want to learn more about these shoes. Or if you like them for real, if you, if you like the way they look, you can actually go to Sockney.com and copy your pair. I decided to step out the Jordan bound, as you can see the questions are sitting over there, and do a different type of review for you guys, since I'm always reviewing Jordans, people gotta realize you don't have to buy Jordans all the time. The only time I really buy Jordans if, basically if I see something I really want for a crazy good price, and I'm not gonna cop it just because of the price. You gotta have your priorities in order, people, like, just... Do things slow and steady, and you will win the race, trust me. Like, I've been taking this slow and steady. Shoes I wanted for years, now I'm just now picking up. And now this year, I picked up so many shoes. And at the same time, actually making income for myself. I got my own place. I did a lot this year. So, you set your goals high. There ain't nothing wrong with setting your goals high. If you believe you can make $10,000 in the next couple months, you can do that. All you have to do is just work hard, put your mind to things, and then put your put your words into actions. And for everybody who don't know, if you look at this tag here, just to give you a um 
Give everybody an FYI on this tag. If you look at this tag, this tag was on Jordans back in the 90s. This same similar tag. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you got a pair of original 8s, 7s, or 6s, this particular tag came on that shoe. Um, they didn't start switching the tags until like 2000 and 2001. Let me show you the tag on here. If I can get a picture of it, god dang it. Ugh, I'm struggling over here, people. Let me turn. I wish I could turn the light on, but I can't. But this is the tag, basically. They didn't start switching it up to that tag in 2001. But if you look at all the original Jordans, they're going to have this type of tag on here. It's going to say, made from whenever. And it's going to look like this. And, of course, if you look at the top, if you know what this means, this means basically the production date of when the date came out. And then, of course, 8 slash 15. Even though this is... They did it. This looks different a little bit from the original one, but I know the original Jordans came with this type of looking tag. So, yeah, it's the tag on it. I'm not going to get all in detail into this tag on colorway, cause I you can see what colorway it is. All right, I'm not going to get all in the detail and say this has a midnight blue upper. And this has a sky blue, ocean blue on the side and shit, and it's white with speckles. <laughs> Everybody can see what it looks like. I re I'm not gonna, I don't know why a lot of sneaker people do that. But it's all, it's okay to get in detail of the shoe. But me, I, I'm i not the type of guy that gets all into that. Because I would rather just show you it. And you look and see the details on it. And you know what type of shoe it is, or know the colorway and all that. These shoe strings make this this shoe look amazing. Like the shoe strings that came with this looks way better. At the pictures when I first saw these, I thought he was going to put white laces, but these laces would match the shoe so perfectly. All right, let me get the other shoe. For real. I didn't unlace this one. These right here. Whew. Look at these. The type of new buck on here is out of this world. Like it's so soft. And people just don't understand his other shoes that basically kills it. Um I don't see really no flaws except this. I don't know. It got a little glue right here. But every shoe is not going to be perfect. But yeah, you got the sock in the originals. Grade 9000s on deck. One of my favorites of the sock in these is these and the shadows. I like the shadows a lot. Shadows are a nice um, design. I think they came out in 1989. I believe the Shadow Originals, and then they got the Shadow Original 6000s that came out in 1990. So, yeah. Some Sockneys for you. I got another pair of Sockneys on the way. These ones, I didn't even know. Like, when I copped these shoes, I saw pictures of these. They look hard as I don't know what. They got M3 material on it and everything. But I didn't know it was a limited shoe <laughs> at all. When I copped it, I just copped it and didn't think about the shoe being limited or nothing like that. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but this is so y'all. These right here, the sock and the originals. If anybody's interested on copying the pair, I'll put the link in the description. If you really like the way these look, they got a whole bunch of different colors. Kind of step out into. The Jordan feel and looking at other shoes. There are other shoes out there that look nice and great. Like these questions I got over there. Some Timberlands. Yeah. That's the end of this video.